All right. What is up, everybody? And welcome back to my channel, Indie Sense. And today I have another review from the house of Dua. And this is one of their newest releases. And I believe this one was released on its own. So it had its own release. I don't think anything else was released when this released. So I had to check it out. Okay. And for sure, when it came out, I'm just going to put it out there. This is a expression that the original hasn't even hit the masses yet. And somehow, the mass scientist over at Dua, Masam himself, he got a hold of it and recreated it with his own twist. And the original is not even out yet. That I believe, as far as I know. Okay? But, before I get to the review, and I show you the fragrance I am reviewing today, if you are returning and you're a subscriber, welcome back. And if you are new to my channel and like the content that I provide, please go ahead and subscribe down there. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave me some comments. Turn on the post notification. I like to talk to people. So leave me, like I said, leave me some comments, all right? And that fragrance is Dua Sour Peach, okay? Look at that. Juice is almost brown, and you already know this thing got some power. So, I'm here to give you my take on it and what I think about it. All right, so before we do any of that, let's get a couple sprays and see that opening. Two sprays, like I always do, that's strong, that is strong. Let me put it down, and we'll go get back to it. All right. So what is Sour Peach? Like I said, it is inspired from Tom Ford Bitter Peach. It is classified as fruity. The notes are for Sour Peach. Peach, Davana, Sandalwood, Blood Orange, Labdanum, and Patchouli. And the gender is unisex. Hmm. You would think a peach fragrance would be feminine. It is unisex. I feel like it doesn't lean feminine at all. I got a something with it. I don't know if it's the sandalwood in it. And the ladanum. That makes it lean a little bit masculine, if I say so. But, like I said, the power of this fragrance, if a woman or female was to wear this, I'd say go light on the sprays, okay? Men, we like to overdo it. Mm. They got that blood orange, giving it like a little tang to the peach. The peach is very real, realistic peach in here. Mm. Sweet and juicy. That sandalwood gives it a rounder effect to the fragrance itself. Mm. It's fresh. This is nice. This is nice. At first, I'm not going to lie, I wasn't a big fan of it. It smelled like uh, a peach incense or of that sort. Mm. But it kind of grew on me when I first wore it. And I'm sure with time, once it macerates and all them juices come together and it start flowing, it'll be better. But when I first smelled it, my initial spray, I thought it smelled like um, an old women peach perfume but like I said it grew on me so I wore it that day I gave it a full wear and this thing was pushing I'm telling you pushing and the thing is with this fragrance it gets better once it dries down I believe this fragrance don't shine till when it gets to that four hour mark 
And when it's when it gets subtle, and it, and and it gets to your skin, nice and and uh, close to your skin, that's where I believe it's gonna shine more, cause it become this nice, creamy peach type vibe once it dries down, and it's very subtle when it dries down. That is much better than the opening and the initial scent bubble when you spray. I believe when you first spray it, it gets like harsh. Like the first hour or two, it gets harsh. And then, like I said, when it goes to that fourth hour and it settles in your skin, it becomes beautiful. But, right off the bat when I wore it, I went to Piata and picked up some food. And the cashier lady, she was like, you smell really good. What is that? And I told her what it was. And she was like, that smells great. And I was like, well, thank you. Yeah. It's nice. I feel like this don't have age range. If you're a, a young person, 18, early 20s, all the way to your 30s and 40s, anybody can wear it. Females can wear it. I feel like it is unisex. But for females to go a little bit lighter on the sprays, maybe one or two sprays. That day, I remember doing it like four or five sprays. I might have did it. I probably went to Piata and filled that whole place up with, with peach. Yeah. So, so let's say that initial spray, that scent bubble, the first two hours, it was really performing around me. So I say if you were a couple feet away from me, you'll get whiffs of it for sure. So see I just projection, I'd say two hours to two and a half. It is a beast. Performance, I got about nine to ten hours out of it. Okay? So it is going to perform right off the back. No maceration is going to perform. A lot of people won't be able to afford that Tom Ford bitter peach. So this is a good alternative, I would say. Mm -hmm. What weather is it perfect for? I believe this is a year-round scent, okay? You could wear it spring, fall, summer, winter, all four seasons you'll be able to wear it. And where I'm at here in Ohio, we sure get them four seasons for a lot of people that know. Yeah, winter will be nice. I feel like this is not an everyday scent, more like a weekend scent, I'd say. That peach is real realistic. It is. Mm. It's a well-rounded fragrance. Nothing overshadows nothing here. You're going to be able to get the peach and the blood orange and the patchouli and the sandalwood is in there. Yeah. So overall... I will give this a four out of out of five, I'd say, just because I'm expanding my nose now. So a lot of these new fragrances that are coming out from Dua that are gourmands and all that, I'm not too sure on them. I'm trying to get into them as much as I can. As y'all know, I'm into the freshies and the aquatics and the sweet fragrances, but this came out and I jumped on the train. The hype train, as we like to call it. It's good. Alright. So that's my take on Sour Peach by Dua. It is not sold out. Even if you don't have this in your collection yet, I believe this is one to pick up. You'll be uh, surprised by it. it. It might grow on you like it did on me. There you go. So, thanks again for checking in. Have a good one and I'll catch you on the next one.